tuning in. Right, cookery video tonight. I think I'll. No, wait. Right, what I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> I've got some chicken here, right? Marinated. It's marinated in oyster sauce and soya sauce, right? Here I've got some bird eye chilies along with a scotch bonnet pepper. Ooh, and a oh. smirching dark and one filming. And then here I have little oh, baby geez. corns, oh, sweet snap look peas. At that. Slivers of ginger, oh my God, onion, starved. red pepper, green pepper, I'm starved. garlic, and I haven't been well since Thursday. And here we have a mixture mix. of ground cumin, cayenne, pepper, chili powder, turmeric, gorgeous. ground coriander, Tumeric. and it's that'll be good. I'll be smashing. We've got some upside down, right? <laughs> Pineapple chunks in own juice. If you're ever going to make a dish like this, always make sure you get pineapple chunks in juice, not syrup. I've made that oh, mistake before. Yeah. Oh no, you need, you need juice. And don't open the tin upside down, <laughs> just in case you've got to like get a rush to <laughs> brush your blood to the head. <laughs> Get oh shit, I can't remember which one I've got. Right, so we're getting stirring. And now I've got a rich and creamy coconut milk. And over here, where I ground earlier, some ground nutmeg, um, some cardamom pods. pods. <laughs> And Some that was a ton that ground poppy seeds. What do you call it again? And ground black pepper. What do you call that utensil again? Pestle and mortar. Oh yeah, pestle and mortar. Where's a ton that? Right, I'm turning this on. I'm going to have a really hot wok. So ladies and gentlemen, get your woks hot. <laughs> One ingredient I might have to use, I forgot about. Which is a whole Chinese cooking wine. Pork yourself. It's cooking, down. Trev. It's not cooking. It's cooking. Yeah, that's it's cooking. Chicken. <laughs> it's not chicken. It's chicken. Not chicken. Or cooking. Right, anyway, how are you? I'm with the. the the aisle, the hot, the hot seat. up. Start smoking. Smoking. Smoking, smoking, right. smoking. Sunflower oil. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh, you heat Slightly it up first. And it. Oh, yeah, right. And then you let that get hot. Ah, so you, you let the dry pan heat up. And then you put the oil yeah. in. Yeah. Ah, Very right. important. See, I've learned something new. And another thing I always emphasize this when I do this kind of dish. When things start to get too dry, don't put more oil in. A little bit don't. of water. Water on yeah. Chinese cooking wine if you've got it. No Rice water wine even. Or something, you know what I mean? Water is good because it steams it, helps steam it. Yeah, not more oil. No, 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 no. A lot of people, I used to do it myself years and years No, ago. it's not good. So in with the chicken. Yeah. What was marinated in what exactly? Oyster sauce and dark soy sauce. Oyster sauce and dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce is used for marinade. Light soy sauce is used for like Condiments, garlic, should you like? I won't. I won't stand too close because it might spit on my lens. <laughs> oh fucking hell! The cable. <laughs> we don't hear them on the floor. 
even though the floor is clean, that'd be quite nice. Did you get some of these on the... Oh, that looks very nice. Oh, what do you mean it's very nice? Still fucking raw. Big <laughs> shoes. I know, I've made enough for about fucking three feet. Oh, oh Lord. All the vegetables are so looking forward to this. I haven't been well since Thursday, you see, guys. I haven't eaten all day today. You haven't eaten now? Nothing. Another thing. I haven't been well. I'm still not well. But I'm sure this Hawaiian curry which I've never known Trev to ever cook in as long as I've known him and that's a long well, I've time. I've never made a Hawaiian curry, that's why. And he just said because he's never made a Hawaiian curry before. So I just thought it'll be a first. Why the hell not? Careful, careful. See? Yeah, well. Another bit fucking here, I need it. Shut up. <laughs> That's the last of the top in mind. No yeah. more, no more toffee. Stick them in. Right. Oh, this is what the song's on. Now the veggies in. Heart of the city. Ain't no <coughs> love. The chilies. The mighty chilies. I hope you can hear it, guys, in the background. You're close up, you idiot. You're right next to the mic. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not close enough. Ah, now I'm better, you see. And I can still film you doing that as well. Planet Rock, you see. You can't feed a bit of Planet Rock. Right, what we need now, add a bit of, um, bit by bit, these spices are spices. developed. Oh, and don't forget the ones in the pestle and mortar. Yeah, I know. I'm not completely ignorant. Out of town. Ain't no love. It's going slightly dry. Sit here. Bit of Chinese oh, the Chinese smell. The smells now were absolutely incredible. Oh. My mouth is watering. Oh gosh. Look at all those nice veg. Sugar snap peas. <laughs> I thought you're getting the wrong ingredient. They didn't look like mange too. Oh. Or mange too. Well, oh. See, I went for the fucking cooperative. Sugar snap You know, I, I, I bought like shit like that. That's not uh, shit. What you are you Them things, 150, right? No, oh, well worth it. I bought a few little items. Well, 13 pound? I went across the road to Heron, right? I bought where, loads of stuff. Where did you spend 13 pound, don't? Where did you spend 13 pound? In fucking cooperative. Oh, I wouldn't fucking shop there. I didn't even have a... We better up. Getting the bust of freaking Aldi's in the galleries. I would get a lift off the woman and John, but they're back and back as well. Right, I said to you last week, didn't I? I said last week. Is that hot enough? Oh, it is, isn't it? Right, what need Gorgeous. Now? A little bit more. Oh, oh some of that. Of this. Only a pinch. Yeah, not too much. Really? Very pungent. Oh. Cool. Anyway. Well, a few pinches. Anyway, later on, right, you must have a taste. And that's what you don't do. Before you serve it up, you never taste it. But now what we need is... A little bit of... Some sesame oil. Yeah, I was going to say a little bit of... A little bit of that. Not too much, because it's not going to cook that's very strong as well as sesame oil. Very strong flavour. Very strong. Remember flat ass? She meant this fucking Italian dish using that. Look, can you smell it now? Mm. The sesame oil. Changing. 
No, it smells of changing. No, it's when you put the sesame oil. I know, I can smell that as well now. Anyway, flat arse. I christened, this I christened her that. <laughs> anyway, go on. You met this bloody Italian dish and cooked everything with... She used sesame oil as if, like, it was vegetable oil. Vegetable no, oil. you can't you can. use it like that. It you on the bottle, not for cooking, for flavouring only. Oh, for God's sake. Flat arse. Did you not read them? No, I read, read the bottle. She couldn't spell or anything, man. Bit of light soya sauce going in now. Light, you see? Yeah, that's all you need. Is that all you need? I'll keep it out in case you want some on the rice later. Yeah. Some tamarind sauce. I mean, you can use tamarind paste or tamarind sauce. Tamarind? Oh. Yeah. So... So what's in that then? Tamarinds. <laughs> what are tamarinds? Excuse me, ignorance. So a dash of that. I'll have to read the ingredients myself. That was extremely nice and must have been forever. Is this the volume? Might as well turn it up a bit for the oh, oh. for the viewers to get in the gist. And now we've got uh, pineapple chunks and the juice. Chunks and straight in there like that. Woohoo! <laughs> get down deeper and down. You know, this, this was status quo's only number one. Ever. Only number one ever. The only number one here at this. Jeez. And now some. Oh, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Cheers and marbles. Plant them in there. I'll turn down the small little bit, eh? Now, yeah. what, now oh, what see, we want to do, I brought them. want to throw the rest of the like spices goodness. in. Get it lashed. Like so. Oh, don't start that fucking like so business. What business? Another chef says that all the time. Well, I didn't realize. He always says, there you go. James Martin. Oh, I didn't know he said the other thing. Yeah, he does, I'm sure of it. What, like so? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I won't even have to say, there you I go. I swear to God, honestly. I'm sure. I'm 99% sure. So, well, that looks absolutely yum, friggin' yum to say the least. Oh, gosh. Right, hammerheads. When all is ready, I shall be back. See you later. We won't be long. Ta-ta. Hello again, Hammerheads. Well, look at this now. It's it's ready for... You know, I put some sir. coconut milk in it, and it's just right. Gorgeous. Chicken's well balanced. Every all the flavours are well balanced with each other. Sugar snap peas. And I'm really surprised. They're tasty, at them. If you even yeah. surprise me, you don't usually do that. Mm, but that look. looks absolutely. So this is Hawaiian amazing. chicken curry. With pineapple, obviously. I love yeah, chunks of pineapple. A little bit of soya sauce. Light soya sauce because you marinate with the dark one, but I like it anyway. Stick a bit on mine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. black pepper, black pepper, I like lots of black pepper. On me, there's not much left in here. Well, there'll be enough of the flavors anyway. It'll be smashing. Right, here we go. Hawaiian chicken curry. Very hot, sour and sweet. Flavours, well, 
I'll give you the verdict very shortly. See you in a bit, Hammerhead. See you later, Hammerheaders. Well, I'm first and as usual with the Hawaiian chicken curry. Now then, what's it really like? Hmm. Yeah. Flavours all blend together really well. Coconut milk takes away the real fret of heat. Because it should be hot, all the chilies are put in. And spices. But the cherry tomatoes are nice and just like I wanted them. So the, there's a sweetness running through it. And I bought the cherry tomatoes. And it seems to be destroying the heat that should have been there. <laughs> and it leaves behind like a kick that is just right. That mm. should have been a restaurant fucking critter. Mm. <laughs> Am I eating here? I mean... Mm. I mean... The coconut is just, it's not very overpowering, it's just subtle enough to remind you that there's some in it, you know I'm I mean? not keen on coconut really, but I don't want it disguised yeah. as such. First thing I've had to eat in 24 hours because I'm not too well. What is? Yeah, brilliant. Curry this. Mm. One of the best curries I've made in Yonks. It is. Well, I'll see you in a bit. I don't want to bore you with any, <laughs> make you any more jealous than you already are. This is not going to do much talk. Right then. Stunnings. Oh, How was it? I finished mine. I left some rice, but... Um, Yeah. Absolutely. I've only had one Hawaiian curry so far and this is it. Yeah. I would definitely eat it again. It was like mm. I can't believe how well balanced the flavours are. Aren't they? I thought they were gonna clash. I was worried at first, I thought well I was slightly even there was cardamom pods, there was this and that and fucking poppy seeds, bloody nutmeg. All nutmeg. kinds of ground nutmeg as well. But I'm going to put a few pinches of that in. But everything's just seemed real. I'll tell you what. I mean, even the coconut milk. Half a tin you put in. Not even that, a third no, of a no, tin. No. You don't need a full tin. No. You know this stupid bitch off fucking um, come dine with me once? It was her turn to cook. She made this Thai curry. She put fucking six tins of that in, you know. Coconut milk. I'm thinking. I was screaming at the TV. I'm going, you stupid fucking bitch! You're gonna ruin it. You're gonna lose. Turn out like ruined. But terrible. Everyone was moaning because it was still too hot. She had six fucking tins. Of oh, she had no clue, man. You've yeah, got to be able to blend more, things more properly. Than most of you cooking for like six to eight people, one tin would probably do. I know. I mean, that's a good. I mean, I know you don't like coconut much in cooking. I'm not a lover of it, but certain little a little amount like that. It's hidden. It serves to take away you the heat. You can't just only taste it. It's like them pineapple chunks. When you bite into one, you, you get a bit of juice out, and it's like, and it like kills the heat that used to be there. Mm. You forget how hot it was when you eat one of them. <laughs> anyway, hammerheads. Try this at home, by all means. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Biscuit and a curry. Oh! Oi, mate! I'm trying to get some fucking sleep, you bastard! <laughs>